Hi, welcome back to our feature lecture. So here's our um, another method in solving the uh, first order uh, differential equation, which is um, called the uh, exact differential equation. So let us consider the equation m x y d of x plus n d y is equal to zero okay we're in uh, we say that uh, this um, equation here is not separable and also a not uh, not a uh, homogeneous coefficients are uh, not possible to use then if we have the function f x y such that when we take the um, uh, partial derivative of this with respect to x is equal to m, and then we take the partial derivative of this function with respect to y is equal to n, and then if this um, partial derivative partial derivative of m with respect to um, I mean partial derivative of n with respect to uh, x is equal to the partial derivative of m with respect to y if they are equal then we have the what we call the exact differential equation okay if um, we have this we prove I mean if we prove that the partial derivative of this n with respect to x is equal to partial derivative of m with respect to y then we can uh, say that uh, our equation is exact and we can uh, have here later the steps on how to uh, to solve an exact differential equation okay but before we move on on that step let's now uh, try to uh, solve a uh, simple uh, simple uh, sample uh, equation and try to um, try to uh, evaluate if this given equation here is exact okay say we have uh, we have two x y minus three x squared dx plus x squared plus two y dy is equal to zero. Okay. So as we can see, the first thing that we must do is to determine which is m as a function of x, y, and which is n. So as you can see here, our m is the one that is with the term dx. So our m here is this part. Okay, so this is our m. And then our n is the one that is with dy. So our m, n here is this one okay and then we need to perform this test to determine if our given um, equation or, or or if our given differential equation is exact okay so we must take the partial derivative of m with respect to y and n with respect to x so let's try this first the partial derivative of m with respect to y okay we're in our m here is where our m is equal to 2xy minus 3x squared right so we have 2xy minus 3x squared and we need to take the partial derivative of this m with respect to y okay then uh, what do you mean by this so we have um, if this is with respect to y, then we need to treat 
our x as constant okay if we treat this as constant and we will only uh, take the derivative with respect to y then we have so since this is a constant we treat treat this as constant we have 2x and then the derivative of y is just um is just um i mean uh i mean a uh, one so we have here 2x minus the derivative of 3x squared with respect to y and if we um uh if we uh, treat this this x as constant then we have zero so uh, our um uh, Partial derivative with respect to m with respect to y is just to x, right? Okay. Second, we need now to take the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So we need the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Okay. And our n here is. Uh, x squared plus 2y then if we take the partial derivative of n with respect to x meaning we will only treat all the x's and we will treat uh, the y as constant okay because we will only take the partial derivative as with respect to x so partially we will only consider x as our um, variable and we will consider y as our our constant okay so if we do that and then we take the derivative with respect to x then we have 2x and then plus since this this whole term here is constant then the derivative of constant is just zero so all in all we have partial derivative of n with respect to x is just 2x okay and then moving back we say that we have a exact de if the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to partial derivative of m with respect to y. So let's try to equate the two. We have partial derivative of m and then since the partial derivative of m is 2x, then the partial derivative of n with respect to x is just 2x then they are 2x is equal to 2x and then we prove that our uh, given differential equation here is exact okay So once again, if we cannot perform the um, separable and the um, uh, homogeneous coefficients here in our given differential equation, in our given DE, in form like this, then if we try to um, take the partial derivative of n with respect to x and m with respect to y and then equate it and they are equal, then we can now use the uh the exact differential equation all you need to do first is to um, uh, evaluate our equation by using this partial derivative okay so on the next video we will uh, have another example of um, evaluating our uh, de as well as on uh, the steps on how exactly we can solve the solution or how we can get the solution when we have the exact DE, okay? So see you on our next video.